Adding further to investors' jitters, Wall Street is waiting for Friday's jobs report. But some optimists I've talked to expect the report to show that the U.S. created 75,000 jobs in July and the unemployment rate may hold steady at 9.2 percent. For more on that, ACN financial analyst Kelly Slade. You got a job offer? Can you wait until we're alone? Are you considering it? I was taking a lunch. Oh, uh, it all starts with the lunch. Thanks, Kelly. We'll be coming back to you for the market wrap-up at 4.30. I'm Sloan Sabbath. Now back to Robin Burnett and best of health. And we're clear. Innocent lunch. That's what it was. Where? The Ocean Club. Why? I was hungry. Hey. An ACN poll released two days ago has 42% of Americans believing that when we raise the debt ceiling, it means borrowing more money. That's nothing new. I know that's nothing new. In here. I know that's something new. That's my point. I've been talking about it almost every night since the midterms, and I haven't moved the needle at all. Well, you're not going to move it in venture capital. I'll get paid. You're just having one of those days. Will says he's not coming back. Ask a boxer who's just been knocked unconscious when he like to schedule his next bout. Friday will be my last day. You made up your mind? Yeah. I have three days to change your mind. 42% was exactly the same number as before Maybe I started talking. Maybe you would have gone higher. Maybe you helped keep it at 42%. <laughs> I have to get ready for wrap up. Okay. Wait. Nah, it's all right. No, wait, no. Okay. Yes, all right. This can only be about Maggie. I'm gonna ask her to move in with me. I see. First, let me say, you made a very wise decision coming to me with this problem. It's not a problem. Let's see what I can do about that. How would you want to be asked? To move in with a guy? Yeah. By having the guy say, will you marry me? OK. Well, let's just take that off the table for the moment. You know, if you're living together, it makes it harder to break up. Well, that's the idea. You have to get cartons. You've been no help at all. Since I'm never going to see you again after Friday, I feel like I can tell you something. We'll see each other. Uh, maybe not after I say what I'm going to and say. And you're not leaving. I don't know who told you you're a bad guy. But somebody did. Somebody along the way. Somebody or something convinced you of it because you think you're a bad guy, and you're just not. I, I'm socially inept, but even I know that. So because you're a bad guy, you try to do things you think a good guy would do. Like committing to someone you like, but maybe don't love. Sweet, smart, wholesome Midwestern girl. I, I could be wrong. I almost always am. Why are you single? A lot of men are intimidated by my intelligence. No, seriously. Because you never asked me out. Caught you off guard, didn't I? Yeah, you really did. Hey, you want to see me? Yeah. Now I don't remember why. Don and Maggie are moving in together. Yeah? I still have to ask her. Seriously? That's great. Cool. I didn't. All right. Good luck. In your uh, apartment? Hmm? They're, you're moving in together in your apartment. Uh, no, in fact, we're going to live among the hill people. I didn't know if you were going to shop start in my you. apartment. OK, so <laughs> I really don't remember why I asked you to come in here. I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll see you later. You're wrong. I do want to commit to Maggie. Well, that's what a good guy would do. I heard you were staying. Yes. Yeah, I will still be working here, as will you, and I am mortified. <laughs> it's... We will both be working here, but we will never speak or make eye contact ever again, starting now. I don't think that's realistic. I just turned down $4 million a year so that I can try to do some good by reporting the news. Do I sound like someone who's living in the world of the realistic? It's real. Starting now. 